today's the day I've been super excited about. So I have had sitting in the back of my car for quite some time uh, some Brembos that I purchased on eBay from an STI uh, and went through the whole process of ordering all the different parts needed to convert the brakes into the STI series. If you're looking to convert your WRX brakes into an STI Brembo set of brakes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take us over to the whiteboard and explain all the different parts that are going to be needed in order to complete this swap. So, beginning process of ensuring that you actually are able to utilize Brembo's from an STI on a WRX is that um, you just have to ensure you have the same matching bolt pattern. So, part of that is right here that an 04 STI they had a 5x100 bolt pattern. Um, WRX's uh, in the later years, actually had that same bolt pattern of 5 by 100 So in my case, I have an 05 WRX, so I just needed to buy rotors uh, to have that same bolt pattern. Um, so this is this rotor I actually purchased on Rock Auto. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one that was originally on an STI. So the rear is more so when it gets a little more tricky because on the rear, you can have the correct bolt pattern. However, the parking shoes aren't thick enough to actually contact the inside piece of the rotor that actually allows you to engage the parking brake. So there's two ways you can really kind of have a solution for this. Either A, uh, you can use rotors that have the correct outer diameter for the use of the Brembo caliper. Uh, but the inside diameter of the piece that actually mounts uh, in contact of those parking shoes uh, are is actually smaller, like the original size on the WRX, so that way uh, your parking brake actually works. Um, what is nice about if you decide to go take this route is that it's pretty plug and play. You just purchase the rotor, you just bolt it up. Uh, and you can get ones with the brackets as well because you are going to need specific brackets that allow you to fit the Brembos onto the knuckle um, because they're not going to have the same matching mount space. So you just have to ensure that you get the brackets with it if you're, if you're in the same situation as I am. The second option, which is a little more tedious, but in a long-term solution, it's significantly better um is using these parking brake adapter shoes so you can actually swap out the shoes on your wrx to use these ones which will mount to the wrx and then actually have a thicker shoe on it so that way it can contact the wider spacing that you find within the sti rotor um what's nice about using these is that in the future, if you need to change out the rotor, you don't really need to go back and purchase these specific rotors in order to change them out. Um, you can just purchase OEM, just standard 04 STI uh, rotors. So it's a little more flexible. And if in the future, if they ever stop manufacturing these, you're not kind of screwed. But this is another really good option. I just decided to do this because in the near future, I'm trying to go ahead and convert and change out the differential uh, from an actual STI. And so eventually I'm going to have to change out the knuckle and everything. So I'd rather just do just purchase these as a temporary measure. Um, but uh, you can decide whichever one you're most comfortable with for this. So now we're going to go back to the car and start the process of actually installing it. Now that I got the boring stuff out of the way, we can actually go ahead and start the fun part which is just doing the actual conversion. So in my case, I'm just gonna be starting with the front. I'm gonna be dealing with the front calipers. Uh, thankfully, the front's the easiest part to do. Uh, basically, all you're really doing is you're just removing your caliper and everything out and just swapping in the gold Brembo. The rear is a bit of a different case. That actually requires you to have a bracket that actually allows it to fit those Brembos and as well you're going to probably need to do some cutting or bending of your dust plate in order to make it fit but we'll go over that once we're there we're going to start the process of lifting the car up and taking the tire off so that way we can get some access to the caliper this is a quick before shot of actually the original WRX brakes in here and just kind of the general amount of 
space and gap that's available. So as you can see, I can totally fit my fingers in there and the rotor is not even that big. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start by removing my front passenger tire. <laughs> as you can see, these rotors and caliper are extremely crusty. So I think overall I'm gonna have a lot better braking performance just in the fact that I'm not gonna be using these anymore. All right, so in my case, I just have a 16 millimeter bolt uh, that connects it to the knuckle. So you're obviously gonna have to remove the upper one up here. So that way we can actually remove the caliper off the knuckle. For some reason, my upper bolt was a 17 mil, but the bottom one was a 16. I don't know if that's normal or if that's just due to the rust, but that's how it was for me, in case anybody else has a similar problem. At this point, you can just install the rotor and swap in the caliper. All right, and like I kind of said earlier, the only way this is actually gonna work is that if you bought 04 SCI Brembo's, if you're trying to make this work on, for example, an 05 WRX like I have, um, this may all differ completely based on what model year you have it's because bolt patterns changed throughout those years. So uh, just if you're like me and you have an 05 WRX, you have to buy 05 STI Brembo's in order to have the same bolt pattern and make this whole thing fit. Uh, additionally, I also had to bend back in the front my dust plate a little bit just so that way I add a little bit extra clearance here you don't have to bend it back I mean you could totally just straight up remove it it's kind of up to you I like keeping them there but you can actually remove that one week later so it's been a couple of days since we were last here um, so I don't know who's a bigger bonehead the guy on eBay that sent me the wrong caliper or myself for not noticing this. So I guess this is a lesson uh, for everybody else uh, that you hopefully won't have to deal with like I am currently. But uh, make sure you take a good look at the back of the calipers from any postings that you're trying to get them from. An actual STI caliper is gonna have these kind of six-sided bolts that uh, mount the casings together. And as well, where your screw actually goes in, it's gonna be like this design uh, and the casting of the Brembo brand name is going to be here. Uh, so that's how you're going to know. The ones that I got uh, do not have any of those things at all. As far as my research goes, these are for like a Nissan Sentra Spec V edition. I have no clue how he managed to do that or if he was just straight up malicious and giving the wrong ones anyways. So whatever, I have to go through the process of returning these. So but make sure you pay close attention. Additionally, you're gonna to wanna to order the actual bolts that came with the Brembos if they didn't give you them with those calipers. They have a different thread pattern, and so it's really important that you don't reuse the stock WRX bolts because you're gonna for sure damage the threads um, on your new Brembo. These are the new ones that I ordered. That 901 is the actual part number that you're gonna wanna use. Um, I got these on Amazon, so hopefully you can do the same. You're gonna wanna buy four of them for this swap. With all the boring stuff out of the way, you can go back to actually putting these on the car with the correct bolts and the correct caliper. As you can see, I already reconnected my brake line back, and so now we're just gonna be mounting these directly to the knuckle. So at this point, this is where it kinda gets easier. Uh, you can just install the pads, and make sure you put in the hardware to keep them intact. With the front caliper and everything installed, we're gonna work our way to the back now. With my wheel taken off on the rear, you can see how my calipers look like they've been sitting on the bottom of the ocean for a while. But otherwise, after we go ahead and swap out to our new Brembo's, this shouldn't be an aesthetic concern anymore.
this is the part where I'd probably tell you, you gotta start bending back your dust plate. Uh, but mine has rotted away uh, thanks to salt. So we're gonna go ahead and just assume there is a dust shield here. Um, but in any case, if there was one, you probably just have to bend it back slightly or just cut it notch a certain way so it doesn't contact the rotor or the caliper. So due to this breaking shoe size difference between the regular WRX and WRX STI, that's why you need to get very specific rotors if you don't plan on changing these. This can't be right. One week later. All right, we're back in the future. Uh, from the previous clip, you've seen my confusion. That was due to the fact that I was sent the wrong brackets. Um, these are actually meant for like within the 08 year, but I obviously don't need that. So this is the correct bracket that you're supposed to get. It looks like this. It's like this. And if you're wondering, you're gonna be using the shorter bolts for the back of the mounting plate to what goes inside And just like the front, with your new hardware you get with the a kit, you want to make sure that these actually thread in uh, good on these threads. If you're buying a pair used, it's totally possible that the threads in these are completely wiped out. So you're just going to want to make sure you actually confirm that's the case or not. If not, you're going to have to repair that just by drilling it out and putting a helicoil in. And then got the caliper fully installed and everything's all set to go. Uh, I will note additionally, for some reason on my brake line, it was in a certain way that it didn't allow it to actually fit in the caliper that I had to flip it like 180. So uh, if you're having that same issue, you can just disconnect it from the where it mounts to the strut and you can just flip it and then reattach this line back uh, with that same clip and then it should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess that I have going on here and do the passenger side and give my final thoughts. So as I was talking about before about having possibly stripped threads, on the passenger side for me, I actually had that problem with this caliper. I can't really get it to focus too well, but the threads are completely stripped out in this hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the process of how to use a helicoil kit to repair the threads in these Brembo. For the rear, you're gonna need these M10 by 1.5 thread inserts for your helicoil kit. If you get an entire kit that comes with all the bits and the insert tool and everything, this makes it a lot simpler. I got mine off of Amazon. I'll include a link in the description. New threads put in to your caliper. You're just gonna go ahead and take your helicoil with the install tool, add a couple dots of just blue Loctite just to make sure that this doesn't come out. And then just try to catch the threads of where you just started in before and just install it. You're gonna try to get your helicoil about flush to where the surface of the caliper is. And after that point, you're just gonna go ahead and just tap it with a hammer on the tool just so that way it takes out the bit at the end. And with that, your threads are now repaired. We went ahead and finished the full install of the new Brembos. Uh, I went through the process of bleeding all of them out and refilling the master cylinder with new fluid. So we got totally new fluid throughout the system. I will say, as I was trying to bleed the brakes, um, I found that as long as you bled it from the inside valve and then the outside one, um, it wasn't too bad trying to get the air out of the system. I found that if you try doing the outside one first, uh, you end up just having a whole bunch of air still stuck. So uh, I'd recommend just doing that. I'm gonna finish throwing the tires on the car um, and then move forward with giving them a test. With that, that concludes the video. Um, thank you so much for all the support. I've had a lot of crazy growth in the channel um, just for the short amount of time I've had it. So it's really cool and really inspires me to keep going. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, uh, please give the video a like. And if you want to subscribe for more stuff, whether it be for my WRX or for my Miata or any of the other cars I got, uh, make sure to subscribe for the channel to stay tuned for any new things going on. 
and that's it. Thanks.